The president last night called for three and a half more years of war in Afghanistan. And for what? In those years, more of our soldiers will die, more of our treasure will be spent, and in the end, we will not be any closer to creating a stable Afghanistan or to enhancing our safety. The whole premise of this war is wrong. Fighting in Afghanistan does not enhance the security of the United States. We were attacked 10 years ago by Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda had bases in Afghanistan, and at that time it made sense to go in and destroy those bases, and we did. But the CIA tells us there are now fewer than 100 Al-Qaeda personnel in all of Afghanistan. So why are we still fighting there? Why will we still have 70,000 troops in Afghanistan at the end of 2012? Troops who will continue to risk their lives every day in a war that has already claimed too many American lives. And we will continue pouring billions of dollars into an intractable mess when we should be devoting taxpayer funds to our own economy, our own jobs, our own housing, our own social programs, and education. Afghanistan is in the middle of what at this point is a 35-year so far civil war. If we continue on the course laid out by the President, in three years there will be several thousand more American soldiers dead, several hundred billion more American dollars wasted, and two or three more provinces labeled pacified. But as soon as we leave, now or in 2014 or in 2016 or whenever, those provinces will swiftly become unpacified. The Taliban and the various warlords will step up the fighting, and the Afghan civil war will resume its natural course. Our troops are fighting valiantly, but they are on the wrong mission. We should recognize that rebuilding Afghanistan, nation building, is both beyond our ability and beyond our mandate to prevent terrorists from attacking the United States. To delay the withdrawal of our forces and continue this terrible policy at so high a cost is quite simply unconscionable. It is unjustifiable to sacrifice more lives and more money. We should withdraw our troops now, all of them, as rapidly as physically possible. Thank you.